Hello everyone. Welcome to Bot National Channel for UPSC Examination. In this video, we are going to see the sap wood and hardwood. Both these types of woods are present in the plants which has a secondary growth. As you can observe in this particular picture, we are seeing here the hardwood as well as the sap wood. So in this video lecture, we are going to see what are what is the sap wood and what is the hardwood and what is the basic difference between the sap wood and the hardwood. So from economic botany point of view, this video is going to be very important because most of the time question is asked by the UPS that is what is sap wood or what is hardwood or what is the basic difference between the sap wood and the hardwood. Before starting the video, I request you to join the telegram channel of the same name that is the botany optional for UPSC examination on the telegram platform. The links of these videos plus the PDF are regularly uploaded on that particular platform. So make sure to join that channel as well so that you will not miss any study material. So let's learn about the sap wood and hardwood. Now first of all, let's see what is sap wood or hardwood. What is meant by sap wood and what is meant by hardwood. Now in this particular picture, you are seeing the typical stem and this stem color wise divided into two parts as you can see as you can see in the inner part it is a darker in color while the outer part is lighter in color so in a stem where there is a secondary growth you often find this type of composition that outer there, is, there are outer layers which are light in color and there are inner layers which are darker in color now the outer part of a wood is an sap wood while the inner part of a wood is called as the hardwood that is this darker portion that is the inner portion of this wood is called as the hard wood while the outer portion and the light portion of this wood is called as the sap wood so if you want to distinguish between the sap wood and hard wood of the wood one thing is sure that the outer part belongs to the sap wood and the inner part belongs to the hard wood all right now the sap wood is a living while the hard wood is dead or non-living. This is a very important characteristic of a wood in which in a single stem there is a part of a stem or wood which is living and there is a another part which is non-living. In this case the sap wood is always the living while the hard wood is always the non-living part. So you have to remember carefully in the wood the sap wood that is the outer part of the wood is always the living part while the inner part of the wood is always the dead part which is called as the hard wood all right the sap wood is younger part while the hard wood is an older part of the wood if you consider in this particular wood part sap wood is always the younger part that is this sap wood is always the newly formed while this hard wood is always the older part because this hardwood formed first and after forming this sap wood, this slowly got converted into the hardwood. And in this way, hardwood always remains as the older part while the sap wood is always created newly and that is why it is an younger part. All right. So keep in mind, always the sap wood is the younger part of the wood while the hardwood is an older part of the wood. Now the next thing you have to know about the sap wood and hardwood is that sap wood functions to conduct the water from the roots to the leaves and store up and give back according to the seasons. Here in this particular slide, we are seeing the functions of the sap wood. As we have discussed, the outer part or the lighter part of the wood is a sap wood and it is a living part. What is the function of this living part or the sap wood is they conduct water from roots to the leaves. That is, you can see in this particular picture, this is an tree which is having the secondary growth and it contains the outer sap wood while its inner part contains the hard wood. Now the outer part that is the sap wood functions to conduct the water towards the leaves. That is this part of the wood is conducting the water. So from this part towards all over the plant this water is conducted all right, towards the leaves. And also it store up and give back according to the season. Not only the sap wood conducts the water to the young leaves, but it also stores the water according to the seasons. That is, for example, if there is a water scarcity in a summer season, then the water which is stored in the sap wood 
will be utilized by the plant leaf to remain alive all right so here there are two functions which are performed by the sapwood the very first it conducts the water from root to the leaves and second function it stores the water for the unfavorable environmental conditions all right so the thing you have to remember is that the sapwood is always functioning for the conduction of the water and for the storage of water now the next thing you should know is that this sapwood contains the sap conducting cells of the tree it tends to have the relatively high moisture content as we have discussed in the last slide that is the outer part which is called as a sapwood is a living part and it conducts the sap towards the leaves and due to this function this part of this wood is always remain in the contact with the water that is h2o and due to this water this area always has the high amount of moisture so comparatively this sap wood has the high amount of moisture as compared to the hardwood because hardwood does not conduct any type of water and it will always have the low moisture all right but on the other hand the sap wood being conducting the water to the leaves of the plant and at the same time storing the water for the unfavorable conditions the sap wood is always has the high moisture content as compared to the hardwood all right now the more the leaves a tree bears and more vigorous its growth larger the volume of sap wood is required now this comes from a very common sense because more the leaves tree have it will need more water right the more leaves will lead to the more water requirements so the more water requirement will require the more amount of or more volume of sap wood so this is a direct connection you can observe in this particular picture this is a tree and the large amount of foliage is present on this particular plant now due to the large number of leaves or foliage this plant requires the very high amount of water and in order to conduct this high amount of water the more amount or say more quantity of sap wood is required and this this can be seen in the development of stem the stem of such a plant has the vigorous secondary growth in order to have the high amount of sap wood right so the more the leaves on the tree the broader will be the stem because there will be the high amount of sap wood in order to conduct the more water required for the more leaves now the next thing you should know about the sap wood and hardwood the relative amounts of sap wood and hardwood in any stem can vary greatly among individual species and growing conditions that is we cannot say a definite proportion between the sap wood and the hardwood this can be vary from species to species from individual to individual to individual and from growing condition to the other growing condition because in this particular picture you are saying that it is almost 70% of an hardwood and there is a 30% of the sap wood but this is not always the case sometimes the amount of sap wood will be higher and amount of hardwood will be the lower or in other cases the amount of hardwood will be the 90% and the amount of sap wood will be the 10% so it will depend it will all depend upon the individual species and growing conditions all right now the young trees and young parts of the older trees all of the wood in the stem is a sap wood now this first point you have to understand carefully that is in a young tree you can observe in this picture this is an young tree and young parts of the older tree if the tree is older and it has a young parts you can observe here here are the young parts of the of these trees and these are the older parts of this tree so in the young plants plus the young parts of the older trees both have the very high amount of sap wood but as the tree gets older and its trunk increases in diameter no longer is the entire trunk is needed for conducting the sap so when the tree grows older now in such a condition when tree gets older naturally the amount of foliage on the trees is going to increase now due to this leaves which increases in number it also increases the weight of an whole plant now in order to handle this extra weight the stem needs to be the tougher one right in order to get this toughness in the stem there is a secondary growth 
this combined with the increase increased need for the structural support causes significant changes in the wood as we have discussed this extra weight the plant has to handle in order to handle this extra weight plants tends to have the secondary growth and there are many changes occurring in the plants the cells nearest the center of the trunk dies but they remain mostly intact as these older sapwood cells age and die they become the hardwood so consider this is an wood and in the and this whole wood is an sapwood but what is happening as the tree gets older its central parts get dead now due to the deadness of this center part the structural support is provided to the extra weight which is put by the tree while the growing season now as the tree grows this sapwood starts to get dead day by day and this results in the increase in the amount of hardwood right so hardwood is increasing day by day to, in order to handle the weight increased by the plants and this hardwood is coming from the sapwood which are the living cells and after the living cells of the sapwood gets dead they they got accumulated in the hardwood so this is how the hardwood is created in younger trees or younger parts of the old trees all right the compounds like resins phenols and terpenes which accumulate in the hardwood not only help to make hardwood more resistant to the attack of insect and decay organisms but also tends to give this inner portion of the stem a distinctive darker color now as we have discussed these sapwood which are living cells when they as the tree grows these cells got converted into the dead cells and hence they are creating the hardwood now due to the creation of this hardwood there are many chemical compounds such as resins phenols and terpenes all are accumulated in this particular region that is amount of these chemicals is more in the hardwood as compared to the sapwood now due to the presence of these chemical compounds the hardwood becomes more resistant to the attack of insect or decaying organism the presence of these compound that is the resins phenol center pines make this hardwood very resistant against the insect and decaying organism and that is why it became the darker in color and these chemicals are also the reason why the hardwood become darker in color so this is all about the sapwood and hardwood i hope you like this lecture please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany if you have any doubt please make sure to comment in a comment box and if you haven't subscribed to the botany of the channel yet please subscribe to the botany of the channel for upsc examination again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one